Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 12 and for today's Vlogmas video, I wanted to do another little sit down video and share a bunch of products with you guys that I'm currently loving. So yes, I wanted to do another current favorites video because it's been quite a while since I filmed one of these. I think I haven't done this since like the summertime. And now that it's winter, the weather is cold, it's about to snow, and that it's Christmas time, I wanted to share some current seasonal favorites and things that I'm loving in the cold weather and during just like the Christmassy holiday season. So I have a lot of good stuff to show you guys. I have some beauty, some lifestyle, some foods. We got some fashion accessories. We have a good variety of things to talk about in this video. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited too. I will link everything that I mentioned in my description. So we have to start off with my jewelry. All throughout Vlogmas I've been getting comments from you guys about where my necklace is from. So this is a Van Cleef necklace. I got this I think last month or maybe in October. I bought this online. I will link the exact one that I got in my description. I can't remember the exact name, but it's like the pearl one. It is so pretty. I will say though, I kind of wish I got the smaller one because I do have one that's a little bit smaller than this one and it's so cute, but I absolutely love this necklace. I wear this all the time. I never, ever, ever take it off. I shower with this and of course it better not tarnish because it was very expensive. So yeah, it's just such an amazing necklace. I really wanted to invest in a high quality piece that I I can wear every single day and something that I can shower in and not have it tarnished because I'm the type of person once I put on bracelets or necklaces I don't want to take them off because it's a lot of work like clamping unclamping I don't know I'm just the type of person that like if it's not easy to put on and take off I don't want to take it on or take it off but with necklaces I treat them like they're tattoos even though I have no tattoos but you know what I mean like I don't want to have to take it off. I want it to be decoration, an accessory that can just live on me. And we're gonna stick to jewelry. I'm currently loving these bracelets that I don't know if I've shown in vlogs before, but I got these from Bracha. These gorgeous little crystal looking bracelets. I love this one. I think they're so cute. These ones are pretty easy to take on and off, so I don't mind wearing them. They really just look so fabulous. I feel like they dress up an outfit. Like I'm wearing this really cute Spice Girls sweatshirt, by the way, but I feel like just wearing a sweatshirt and having all this really cute jewelry just kind of dresses up a plain old sweatshirt. What else am I wearing that I love? Oh, my slippers. I showed these in a couple Vlogmas videos. I recently got these from J. Crew. They were on sale during Black Friday. I think they are still on sale. I got them for 50% off. These are so cozy. They are so cute too. Like, I just love how they look. They look like big furry snowballs on my feet and the padding on them is so 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 thick and soft and it's just such a good material i was thinking about buying barefoot dreams's slippers those are like 80 dollars, and i don't know i was like so close to clicking by something in my mind was like just just hold off hold off on these 80 dollar house slippers that you probably don't need so i found these for way cheaper they kind of remind me of them i was just looking for a pair of plain white house slippers that are really like cozy and fuzzy and good quality so I love these so I have some clothing favorites I wanted to mention this dress is going to be my outfit repeater dress I seriously am so obsessed with this I wore this on Thanksgiving I will insert a photo of what it looks like on me but this is from Stodd big fan of Stodd the moon bag I have that brown one this is from Stodd. So I love the brand. I've been a really big fan of theirs starting like this past year. Their bags are such high quality luxury bags for like under $500. They're luxury bags that don't break the bank. Their clothes are also really high quality. I love the color blocking of this dress and they had, you know, other color combos and it's just like a maxi dress. It has like slits on the sides. It also like kind of buttons down and like stops a little bit halfway through. So it's just such a cute design so adorable and then next favorite type of clothing i guess you could say are workout sets so if you guys follow my vlogs and vlogmas you know that i'm keen on working out now i love to work out and every time i work out i want to look cute i like to wear my workout sets my matching sports bras and leggings or matching sports bras and biker shorts i am just obsessed with sets this one is this really cute chocolate brown one from buff bunny I have a few of their sets and I really like the quality of their pieces and I love the design of this one. I feel like it just like essentiates, 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 
essentiates. I think that's it. It just curves your body, makes you look super good. It just hugs everything in and makes it nice and tight and right. Recently, I got a bunch of Peloton workout clothes and you guys know I'm obsessed with my Peloton. If you don't know, then I'm obsessed with my Peloton. So I wanted to try out some of their workout clothes. Their workout clothes are just as amazing as their workouts and bikes. This one is super cute. It's like a, uh, kind of like a periwinkle blue. It just looks so good on, it feels so good on. It feels like second skin, great to move in and breathe in. So I just love workout sets. Amazon has some really good ones too. On my storefront, I have a whole section of workout sets. So if you wanna see more workout sets that are really good quality and still affordable, go check out my description on my Amazon storefront. I've been loving this jacket. This has been like my go-to jacket. I literally wear everywhere I go, whether it's to run an errand or to go somewhere nice. Um, it's just so big and oversized, but still really soft and warm. This is from Princess Polly, and I got this in a medium slash L, so this is an oversized fit. My normal size is like large. I would get in jackets to like have enough room, but I just got a medium slash large, and it still has so much room. I can wear hoodies and thick sweaters underneath, and I still have like room to move my arms. So it's just such a cute look too. Another cold weather accessory I'm loving is this scarf that I just picked up from Boohoo. I am in the beginning stages of starting to get over having everything neutral. I still love my neutrals, but I'm starting to incorporate more color into my wardrobe but not being afraid to wear color. I've always been obsessed with the color green and this Kelly green scarf is just so fabulous. It is so thick and so cozy and warm. So, so, so soft. It's like one of those like oversized, really fluffy scarves. And yeah, I got this from Boohoo for like $12 during the Black Friday sale. I think they're actually sold out because last time I checked, uh, it was sold out, but I'll link some similar alternatives, but hopefully it's back in stock. We have to mention a couple of bags for my current favorites. I'm always changing up my bag and switching bags and using different ones, but these two I have been using the most recently, and I did show this one in a couple of Vlogmas videos ago. This is the Marc Jacobs tote bag in the crinkle leather with the Sherpa lining i think it is just so cute and perfect for the winter time and this is the mini size but it's so big it holds so much um compared to my body you can see like the size it really is just such a great everyday bag and then this bag i got i think a few months ago maybe like in october but this is from a brand called bob or blue collection i saw chriselle from that show what's it called Selling Sunset. I'm a big Selling Sunset fan. And yeah, Chriselle was wearing this bag on the show at an event. And I saw it and I was like, that's so cute. So I researched it and I found this brand, Bob Orr. And I just love the sleek and simple design and the mixture of the canvas and the leather detailing. And I just love the structure of it, the shape of it. And it's just so, so, so pretty. And I love this strap. Came with two different straps. This is like a, um, like a canvas one with black lining. It's just adorable, and again, I wear this with pretty much all outfits. It matches with everything. So I'm going to mention some of my favorite shoes lately. I just picked up these New Balance sneakers from StockX. I love this style, and I don't remember the name of the style at the top of my head, but I will link them in the description. And this colorway is so gorgeous. I think this is the tea, milk tea colorway. Definitely size up because I got my regular size, size eight, and they're a little bit snug. They fit pretty good, but um, I think with nine, I would have been a little bit more comfortable. I'm actually eight and a half, so I got eight. I should have gotten nine. Um, so for size reference, that's my recommendation, but they're so cute. I love wearing these with this Princess Polly white puffer and like some sweatpants for like a quick, easy, like go to the grocery store, get some gas outfit. It's very comfortable. I cannot go on with this video without mentioning my Ugg Taz slippers, my probably most worn shoe of the season ever since I bought them two months ago. They're honestly the comfiest, the coziest. I wear the shoe probably every day, whether it's going out, grocery shopping, errands, or taking my trash out, checking the mail, but also I wear them to dress up. Like I wore these to a family event last night and they were cute. Like they're just, you know, your everyday slippers that you can wear with anything. I love a good pair of Ugg slides. My most worn boot of the season are these Vince Camuto boots, which I'm so mad I bought these at full price like $219, something around that. And they've been on sale ever since I bought them. I just love the style. I love the pointed toe. I think they're just so sophisticated and sleek. And they're also a little bit of a wide calf. I have wide calves. So um, these are the only boots I've found that really comfortably fit my calf and give me like a little bit more extra room. So, um, and also the heel design, like look how chic that is they're comfortable they fit me good they look cute with like all outfits i wear these with skirts with jeans with 
just anything and they look so good and they feel good i have never found a good pair of black leather boots so i am so happy to have found these i'm gonna wear these for seasons to come until they are beat up with holes in them i will wear these okay so transitioning into my beauty favorites i have a couple of fragrance favorites for the season these are really nice scents for like the fall slash winter time and just like the cozy season so this one is the replica by the fireplace by Maison Margiela I've had this fragrance since last winter and this is definitely a winter scent it's called by the fireplace the fragrance description is burning wood and chestnut so it kind of reminds me of like a luxury ski resort like by the fireplace roasting marshmallows in your ski chalet mm, it really smells like a sweet oaky scent so very very good for winter time and then this scent is brand new this is the YSL Libre Intense this one is a little bit more warm and sweet so I think that's perfect for the season it's definitely very florally like the original YSL Libre but does have more of like a darker kind of sexier oakier sweeter scent to it this smells like when you open up a Macy catalog and they have like the fold open perfumes and you just like you know rub the magazine all over you to get that scent on you this is what it smells like i don't know why it reminds me of that but that's just what's popping in my head right now it is such a beautiful beautiful scent i might even like this a little bit better than the original ysl libre one if you like the original libre you will like this a couple of honorable mentions for skincare i am big on my skincare but i don't want to mention my whole entire routine so just a couple products i've currently been loving the ren skincare overnight glow is a dark spot sleeping cream it's like an overnight sleeping mask I am obsessed with my sleeping masks because I want a really thick cream to wear overnight so that in the morning when I wake up my skin is nice and smooth and soft so this definitely does that and I like how it gives your face a glow too you don't wake up with like dull and dry skin you wake up with nice glowy soft skin so every single night I have to use this stuff it's so good I mentioned I think I forgot which vlog it was I mentioned in a recent vlog this video that I was looking for a new day cream that is thicker and helps to combat dry patchy skin and I found a really good cream. This is from Paula's Choice. It is the Rescue and Repair Intensive Moisturizer. And this stuff has really helped my skin. It provides intensive hydration for sensitive dry skin and provides a smooth and comprised barrier. I started using this a couple days ago and I've noticed that my skin stays pretty moisturized throughout the day. It does say to use this at night, but I like to use this during the day and I feel like that's why it keeps my skin like good all day. I think I just have to use night creams during the day too. You guys did also suggest a couple of the La Roche-Posay creams. I am obsessed with that brand, so I'm gonna check it out. But for now, I've been loving this one. I have one hair care product to mention in this video. This is from Nature Lab Tokyo. They're becoming one of my favorite hair care brands. I have their shampoo and their blowout balm, which I've shown in a recent vlog and the products have always been really gentle and good on my hair so this is the dry shampoo and this isn't a spray like a lot of normal shampoos this is a powder i don't know if you can see um but it's literally like a powder and i think i prefer powders over sprays now because powders absorb more oil from your scalp and i just like the texture of it better better than like wet sprays and having like wetness in your hair i prefer the texture of powders over sprays and this one specifically i feel like really suck a lot of oil out of my scalp and after using this all on my scalp and around my head like i feel like my hair feels so brand new and refreshed and in between washes this has been so good to my hair so just one makeup product to mention it's not really even makeup i don't really wear makeup that much anymore i am wearing it today but honestly i don't really wear makeup unless i'm filming a sit down video or going out but i don't even go out that much anymore i don't really even film sit down videos that much anymore so I probably do my makeup like once a week at the most. But I did want to mention this spray because this stuff is amazing whether I'm wearing makeup or on days when I'm not wearing makeup. This is the Patrick Ta Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. This stuff is so gentle on the skin. It does not violently spray your face like a lot of sprays do. I think that's a big reason why I like it. It also smells good and it also gives your face a glow. It doesn't make your face look greasy like a lot of sprays do. To finish off this video, I have some lifestyle slash food favorites. I recently picked up a tin of the Nordstrom Spice Chai. If you are a fan of Spice Chai, you need to try Nordstrom Spice Chai. It's seriously so underrated. I think I would even choose Nordstrom Spice Chai over 
Starbucks is. I had no idea they sell the full tins. So I recently picked this up and I'm so happy to have this at home because I'm gonna make it all the time. I will show in an upcoming vlog how I make my spice chai at home. But yeah, you guys, you need to try this if you haven't. I've mentioned in vlogs, I'm very big on my like gut health, digestive health and all that. So I'm very big on trying to get a lot of probiotics in through supplements and through like foods and stuff, but also through drinks. I love kombucha. This isn't really a kombucha. This is more of like a probiotic drink. This doesn't have the same acidity and like harshness as regular kombucha does. This is from the brand, I think it's called Sunny Culture, and it is a probiotic drink. So I got this at Whole Foods. I think they sell it at Target too, but definitely Whole Foods. And I love these because they also have low sugar. A lot of kombucha drinks have like 16 grams, like so many grams of sugar. So another thing I recently started doing with my diet is cutting off sugar. So this one has only six grams of sugar, but a lot of the ones in this line have like five or four grams of sugar, very low amounts of sugar. So um, it's delicious and it's not harsh. It doesn't like make my heartburn go crazy and it tastes really good. Something that Anto, my boyfriend, and I have been enjoying so much this holiday season is having our Christmas movie nights. And our Christmas movie nights comprise of some hot chocolate and of course popcorn. So we've been loving this product. This is a set of popcorn spices or popcorn like seasonings to put on your popcorn to make it taste extra good. This is from Nordstrom. I got this as part of my gift guide video. I was gonna give this away as a gift but decided to keep it and I'm very glad I did because they taste so good. So it comes with a set of six different spices and the flavors are s'mores, apple cinnamon, blue cheese buffalo, truffle parmesan pizza and jalapeno popper. Our favorite is truffle parmesan and the blue cheese buffalo. It tastes so good. So if you're a big movie person, like to have movie nights, like to make your popcorns, I recommend trying this. Okay, so the last favorite I wanted to mention is my phone case because I have been loving the phone cases from Casetify. I'm actually an ambassador, so I get a lot of my cases from them and you guys can get a discount code if you want to purchase some cases from them, but I love this one. This is a mirrored one and it has my name on it, if you can see. That's my nickname, but I love this. It's like such a good, durable quality case. It is so cute. They have so many different designs and colors and styles to choose from. Even before I became an ambassador, I was always obsessed with their cases and always would get my cases from them. Definitely check them out if you're in the market for a new phone case. That's all for my current favorites. Hope you enjoyed that video and hearing me talk about the things that I love. So everything I mentioned will be linked in my description. That's all for this video. That's all for Vlogmas Day 12. One, two, or is it one and two? You get it, Vlogmas Day 12. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys tomorrow.